What's up YouTube, this is Chavo coming at you with a um, little different uh, review today and uh, we're going to walk through and look through the G-Shock um, 30th Anniversary 30 Years of Toughness book. Um, before I start, I want to give a special thanks to Star Remix and the team. Um, Star, thank you so much. He's the person who helped me acquire this astounding piece of memorabilia um, and we'll go into the details of what this book means and what would it what was what it was for thank you star send me a little Christmas card as well uh, for you guys who don't know star he's also a G-Shock collector and uh, does his own reviews on YouTube that is his um, YouTube tag name star remix s a a d look him up he's got some really nice pieces um from the uk all right guys check him out so here we go g-shock 30 years 30 years of toughness since 1983 um a little background on this book if you guys check out 50 g's blog spot um, Mrs. G Mrs. George wrote on um, got a little information about the book on his website and you can check out his website I added a link on the description of this video so check that out so you get more information about the event and pictures of the event um, but in a nutshell back in October of 2012 G-Shock um, organized a party and I think they um, they collaborated with another group of um, magazines or something like that or a marketing staff or something like that to do a party in London to celebrate 30 years of G-Shock and 30 years of toughness um, and along with that they also um, I think they give awards to some some people in the fashion industry um, sports and music well that day um, Mr. Ibby was there um, and they gave away these books so yeah let me get into the book and you'll see what I'm talking about shortly okay from cover hardcover one more thing at the party or at the celebration they gave out 250 of these books to guests not the hardcover books they were soft cover this is actually the hardcover and I don't understand why it's hardcover I'm not sure if they, if they printed out some additional books a um, little better quality and they gave them out to other individuals or not sure exactly the background behind the hardcover versus soft cover. The soft cover was given out at the party and, th and that's the one that um, George actually reviews on his website, the 50G's website. Hardcover, here we go. Here's the inside of the cover. It's got this um, G-Shock watch pattern on both pages, both sides of the page. Okay. Nothing on the left side of the camera or the left side of the um, book other, other than this. I don't know, it's like a um, watermark almost. But it's, um, it's actually, I guess because of this side, it's printed. It's actually pressed, it seems like. If you touch it, it feels pressed. So it actually, um, you can see there how it pushes onto the other side of the page. On the other page, introducing Mr. Kikuo Ibi. And I have a hard time pronouncing his name. I call, everyone calls him Ibi. I'll call him Mr. Ibi. Okay? Um, on this page, he it's a pretty much a bio on Mr. Ibi and explaining... Um, how he came about designing, of course he's a designer engineer, um, to create the G-Shock product. And he explains how he did it, um, and never to give was, is pretty much his motto, never give up. His official, authentic autograph there. There it is. Signed by him, Mr. Ibi, and one of 150. This is the first copy he signed of the 150 hardcovers. Um, 
amazing, <laughs> if you ask me. Another reason why this is important to me is because、um, he was here in New York. Well, I'm in Chicago, but he was in New York for the、um, 30th anniversary Shock the World party.、Um, and I unfortunately was unable to attend. And he was out there giving autographs、um, to. Some people were lucky to obtain his autograph. I was not. And that's actually what.、Um, That's what actually what bothered me the most about not being there is that I could have got his signature, but here it is. Was able to obtain it.、Um, I didn't get it personally, but hey, I got it. Still, this still the same, I guess.、Um, back to the book. Never give up. He talks about、um, the background of creating the watch since,、um, back in '83,、um, and the. Pretty much the、um, thought process behind it. Okay, and right here it says London 2012, which is the party I'm referring to. All right. Toughness is in the soul and spirit, not in the muscles. Alex Cross. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. I'm going through each pages. I'm going to summarize a lot of these, but just to give you a thorough look at what the book contains. G-Shock Genesis. On this page here, he goes about、um, telling the story about his father, the watch he gave him as he was running to a meeting. He dropped and broke it. And that's what inspired him to create a watch that would be durable and withstand、um, shock, or in other words, a fall. Here's one of the first commercials that displays the, the DW5000.、Um, and actually, you can find that video. I'll try to find it and add a link to it of it on the description. It's one of the、um, earlier videos of G-Shock. Not a lot.、Uh, one of the members. One of my friends, one of G-Shock collectors,、uh, mentioned that there's not a lot of marketing,、um, especially in the、um, commercial, com- in commercials about G-Shocks, which is、mm, kind of interesting. Okay, here he goes on. They go on to、um, talk about the watches and how they're encased.、Um, he pretty much talks about how the watch, the They were testing out prototypes of the G-Shocks, and they could they couldn't keep them from breaking. Every time they bounced, they dropped them. They would break. And he said he went to a park one day and saw a girl bouncing a ball, and that's where he got the idea of、um, protecting the structure or structure in the watch, and that it flows or、um, a hollow structure, and that it kind of、um, floats. Inside and keeps it from protect from、uh, it protects it. It keeps it from damaging upon impact on the ground.、Um, so that's pretty much where he got the idea. A ball, a ball bouncing on the ground. Okay. So from 1983 to 2013, the technology has advanced. This here is one of the aviators.、Um, And、he talks about the the、um, technology behind the aviation watches. Triple G resist, shock resistant, G force resistant, and vibration resistant. Pretty neat. Next page. Here he goes、um, and show you different models from the early DW5000, which I have,、um, and then he goes on to describe the different models. That came about in the later years. Frogman two thousand two hundred, I believe that is. Oh no, the W sixty three hundred from Frogman. Titanium Frogman eighty two hundred. Mudman eighty four hundred. I love this watch. The early、uh, first generation Jason. Keep going. You got a Mr. G here, ninety six, fifty six hundred E, very common watch nowadays. Ninety six, the Rise Man. Woohoo! 
Woo! One of my favorite. Um, this is the early version of the 9200 Riseman, which is an amazing, awesome piece. They have a really nice yellow color, um, which I one day pick up. Love that. Bit. I love Risemans, and you guys have, haven't seen my Riseman collection or latest review. Check that out. Another Frogman. The G. Oh, here's a 200 series Frogman. Awesome. It's interesting. This is, looks like it's blue, which reminds me of the uh, navy blue colors uh, frogmans that are coming out soon. So more Mr. G's. Very nice product. Very expensive. High, high class. Next generation Mudman. Um, which actually was, is the watch that I wore today, and I just took it off for um, my review. The mud man, different colors. This is a master of G. This is the uh, one of the blue ones. Okay. Fifty six hundred, radio controlled. Oh, the golf man, right? That's the golf man. Yes, golf man. Another really, I mean, they have just beautiful watches. There's so many models and so many things that people could choose from. A um, little bit for everyone. Another MTG 1000 right here the new rise man this is the new one the 9200 what I was referring to earlier old rise man new rise man design the GWF 1000 frogman solar atomic the new mud man this is a new model of mud man um, here it is this is the Mr. G beautiful design expensive as well the um, triple G a1000 um, avia aviator watch and then the latest technology that they just recently invented is the Bluetooth which um, I'll do a review on one of those very soon okay I consider skateboarding an art form a lifestyle and sport Tony Hawk Three decades of style. From the birth of breakdance to BM BMX ramp, G-Shock has been at the heart of some of the coolest happenings of the last 30 years. So here he goes, and this book they just talk about 30 years of, um, I guess, um, what's a good word to use? Mm, different memories. I don't know, that's not a good word. But um, I don't know, milestones, I guess, in, in history during the last 30 years. Run DMC, the first G-Shock, the 5000, ET, Pac-Man, um, Days and Confused, of course, the Transformers. Look at that, Michael Jordan, representing the Chi-Town. Hey Mike, huh, where's LeBron at bro? Not on this book, MJ bro, MJ, remember that. Set MTV. If you guys are old enough to remember MTV, Tribe Call Quest. Then you get on to the 90s, the 200 series Frogman. I don't know what that is. Rollerblades. Don't know who those are. Modern Tate, Tupac, BMX, um, Trick Bike, the Jason. Mets, Mwah. the pumps, good old pumps. Everyone had some pumps back in the day. Matrix, looks like Banksy's. That's Banksy's an artist. Yeah, it looks like it. 2003, early 2000s. The Rise Man, good old Converse's, Bonkers. <laughs> the um, London um, Olympics, the Aviator, Kanye. Mm -hmm. um, what is this guy's name? Uh, goodness gracious. I uh, can't remember his name. I have a couple of his hats too. Designer, artist, Converse, Mr. G. Of course, Obama. Okay, moving on. 
here um, in this page to give you some facts in terms of numbers. Um, 15 plus, the uh, the the, um, the G-force that G-Shock Aviation watches can withstand. 11,400, the price of the first G-Shock ever produced, the, the 5,000. That's how much it costs, 11,400 yen. 200 depths in meter is the um, the 1000 BS Frogman. That's how much um, pressure it would withstand. Two, the number of years fully charged tough solar batteries can um, can be powered in zero light conditions. Eight, the range of degrees Celsius a G-Shock thermometer can gauge from 20 to 60. 149 number of places for which a G-Shock g lide can retain tidal data or tide data. Tidal data. 18. The not the care count of the gold used in the interior band of the Mr. G's. Six. I love this one. I, I love this fact right here. The number of G-Shock multi-band radio control timekeeping transmissions. So there's six towers in the world that you could um, sync in with your watch if you have an atomic watch. First one is the USA, second one is China, third Japan, fourth another one in Japan, the fifth one in Germany, and the sixth one in the UK. Six different towers. I love that fact. If you guys don't um, have an uh, atomic watch, you should get one. They are amazing. Um, here they talk about the different different um, um, stars or... Um, yeah, stars that have worn G-Shocks in different Hollywood movies. From, uh, I mean, there's, we've uh, we have so much fun doing this, is spotting G-Shocks on commercials, TV shows, movies, artists. Um, but here to give some examples, if you guys watch Super Bad, excuse me, he wears one. He wears the DW5600. Um, Stargate, they wear it. Of course, Tom um, Tom Cruise. Keanu Reeves, sorry, Keanu Reeves wears in his speed. Um, Tom Cruise does wear one, though. Where's Tom Cruise? Here he is. Tom Cruise does wear one. In Mission Impossible. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You guys remember that movie? Brad Pitt wears one. Of course, 007. Um, well, actually, this is Entrapment, not 007. Um, Sean Connery wears one. Battle of Los Angeles, they wear one. Burned After Reading. George Clooney wears one. So they're in a lot of movies. Catherine Zeta Jones, um, Janet Gaffold, Garifold, Garifalo, whatever. George Clooney, Bad Boys. I remember that one. I distinctly remember that one. Um, Mar Lawrence with Will Smith. I think Will Smith actually wears one too. I can't remember, but I'm, I know for sure Martin Lawrence does. Um, Bradley Cooper wears one in, eight, in the 18 movie. So they give you just some examples of um, some um, movie stars that wear the brand. Gold medals aren't really made of gold. They're made of sweat, determination, and hard to find alloy called guts. Dan Gable. G-Shock 30th Anniversary Awards. Recognizing and rewarding talent and perseverance in sport, music, fashion, and art. And here we get into the um, music, sports, fashion, and art industry, and they um, talk about different artists, different you know musicians, fashionistas that um, they celebrate at the party. Yep, that's that. Meet the finalists. Four stunning shortlists for the G-Shock 30th Anniversary Awards. The judges and the nominees of the awards that they gave out. If you feel, feel free to pause the video if you want to read or see the names on the, in the book. Here's some pictures of them. I'm not familiar with any of those. I'm not sure if they're UK um, artists and musicians. There are sh no shortcuts to any place worth going. Two minds are better than one. Introducing some of the world class designers. So here they go. Moving forward, they talk about the different designers and their bios. Um, 
the bios of the, some of the current designers. Maharishi. As a person who uses products for a long time, I have a lot of respect for G-Shock talk. G-Shock toughness. Maharishi. And it talk about a um, little bit of background of the design. So you can pause and read that if necessary if you're interested. The next one is the Burton. Here's the Burton here, the GDF 100. Um, I've never owned that one, never been really interested in owning it, but I do find it attractive in pictures. Just um, never pulled the trigger, not sure why. Don't own any GDF 100 modules either. Um, maybe one day I'll pick one up. The opportunity hasn't presented himself at the right price. Of course, the infamous Mr. Hayes and his beautiful GA 110. Eric Hayes, New York based graffiti artist and all you guys know he works for Casio and also collaborates with them and produces a lot of cool, um, oh, sorry about that and I didn't notice my camera was doing that, uh, produces a lot of art for them so the, he designs tins, art, um, marketing stuff for Casio but he has also created his own watches. This is the GA110, there's a 5600, um, which I also have. There's a, what else is there? There's another, there's a few versions that he's created and designed himself. DGK, this is the number two. The first one was the GX56. Um, this is the 8900 version. DGK. It's all about turning a negative into a positive, about coming from humble beginnings and achieving great success. Amen. <laughs> um, Alice, Anthony and Allison, um, I think this is a UK uh, release piece. Not very popular, um, they didn't sell so well, you could probably still find it. Uh, a lot of people weren't happy with the design. I actually find it um, not too bad, I don't know. It was kind of pricey, um, and I don't know if, it, if people. There's there's people who are fans of their work, and they pretty much use that um, style and fashion into their watch. But not a lot of fans. Some fans, and those who picked it up are lucky because there were only a hundred made, I believe. Fall stand, learn, adapt, Mike Norton. Premium, a new face. I'm going on 22 minutes, so hopefully you guys are forwarding or are really interested in this book. But just thought I'd give those who haven't had an opportunity to look at it. But I'll speed it up because this is, um, I didn't find this very interesting. Some ambassadors, G-Shock Premium, the ambassadors. Some of the products, the, Mr. the MTG, the GS110 and the 4000D, GW. Yeah, this didn't um, capture my attention so much. So I will, I'll go pretty much pretty fast through it. A couple more ambassadors and some more of um, that a Q and A for to them for them. That's I'm about to get some more beeps here. All my watch is gonna start beeping and chiming. Another ambassador. Another one here. Okay. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. When the tough gets going, when the going gets tough. Toughness has been the heart of G-Shock's ethos for 30 years. It is renowned worldwide as unbreakable. Watch. How tough has evolved over the last 30 years. I'm sorry man, I just noticed my camera was changing angles here. Let's fix it. There. Hopefully that fixes it. I apologize. I should have done this earlier, it looks pretty cool. A lot better than what I was doing earlier. The 5000 there. The evolution of G-Shocks. The aviators, the rafts, 
the rafts. Yeah. Listening to some um, the Notebook soundtrack. Um, Billy Holiday, I'll be seeing you. Awesome. Very soothing, very relaxing song. Here's Raf. GWA 1000. Awesome watch. But if you guys really like aviators, check out the 1030s. Oh my lord. Amazing watches. It's not the size, yes it is, of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Well, my friend. <laughs> the feature toughness move forward. With foundations such as these to build on, the next 30 years promise to be full of adventure, excitement, and innovation. And here's what they call the feature of Mr. G. The Mr. G in 96 through 2005, and then the Mr. G now. The Twisted Metal. Oh, actually, that, I don't think that's the Twisted Metal. No, that's not the Twisted Metal. Because the Twisted Metal came out recently. That's not, that's from 2012. It wasn't out yet. So I lied. Okay, some acknowledgements. The back cover. Of course, Mr. M Mr. Ibby. Eric Hayes, all those, and there you have it, the end of the book. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy that, never give up. If your watch breaks, find a way to fix it. If you can't fix it, never give up, you'll f sooner or later find a way to do it. And there you go, 30, G 30 years of toughness, G-Shock. Alright guys, sorry for the lengthy um, video, hopefully you enjoyed that, um, some of you will, some of you won't, some of you have seen pictures of these before, um, some of you for the, it's the first time, so hopefully for you guys who um, is the first time seen it, hopefully you enjoyed it, Miss Ibby, one of 150, alright, this is Chavo coming at you with a really cool video, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Holla at your boy. I'm out. Seeing you. Peace.